Hello everyone, welcome back to Math Olympic channel and here we have 4 over m into 4 over m is equals to m over 4 and uh, here we solve this problem for the values of m. So the very first step we are going to do is here first we multiply this numerator by numerator and denominator by denominator so you have 4 times of 4 becomes 16 and m times of m becomes m square equals to m over 4 and now in the next step uh, here uh, we need to cross multiply the values so uh, here we multiply this 4 by 16 and we multiply this m square by this m so when we uh, cross multiply the values it will be written as 16 times of 4 is equals to m square times of m so after that uh, here we know that 16 times of 4 becomes 64 and m square times of m uh, written as m cubed so here we uh, rearrange the values and we move the 64 to the right hand side and it will be written as m cubed minus 64 is equal to 0. So here uh, we uh, write this 64 as m cubed minus we know that uh, 64 is the cube of 4 so if we take the cube of 4 it will be written as 64 and this whole equation is equals to 0. So in the next step uh, here uh, we need the nice cubic formula and we know about this formula if you have a cubed minus b cubed it is equals to a minus b times of a square plus ab plus b square. So here we use this cubic formula uh, to the above term so in the above term we have the value of a is m and the value of b is 4 so uh, this uh, equation is written as after applying this formula and we have m minus 4 times of uh, m square plus m into 4 and plus 4 square and this whole equation equals to 0 so in the next step uh, here we need more simplifications and we have m minus 4 times of m square and plus here you have this is 4m and plus this 4 square is equals to 16 and this whole equation is equals to 0. So now in the next step uh, here we convert this equation in two cases so that the first case is we take m minus 4 equals to 0 and the second case is we take m square plus 4m plus 16 is equals to 0. So now uh, here we in, in focus in the first case so in first case uh, we have the value of uh, m is equals to minus 4 uh, sorry this is minus 4 when we move in the right hand side it will becomes plus 4. So this is the value of m and it is the uh, real root. So this is the first real root of the given equation. So now in order to find the other roots we need to solve this quadratic equation. Uh, so here we have uh, m squared plus 4m plus 16 and now first we write the coefficients of this equation and its coefficients are a equals to 1, b equals to 4 and c is equals to 16. So these are the coefficients of the given equation and now we use the quadratic formula in order to solve these uh, this quadratic equation so that here we have m is equals to minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4 times of ac divided by 2 times of a so now we substitute the values of a b and c in this formula and it will be written as minus 4 plus minus square root of b square so b is 4 square minus 4 times of a is 1 and c is 16 and this whole divided by 2 times of a and our a is equals to 1 so uh, now further uh, here we need more simplification uh, so we uh, just simplified these terms and it will be written as minus 4 plus minus square root of 
this is 4 square is equals to 16 minus 4 times of 16 is equals to 64 and this is divided by 2 times of 1 is equals to 2. So now in the next step uh, we have the value of m is equals to minus 4 plus minus. So here you have 16 minus 64. So it is equals to. So this is equals to 48 minus 48 and whole divided by 2. So here we need a little bit simplification here and uh, we write this equation as minus 4 plus minus. So this is 48 and we write it as 4 times of 12. We know that 4 times of 12 is 48 and here we write separate the square root of minus 1 and it is divided by 2. So uh, here we get the value of m is equals to minus 4 plus minus. Uh, here we know that the square root of 4 is equals to 2 into square root of 12. And we know that square root of minus 1 is equals to iota and this whole equation is divided by 2. So now in the next step uh, here we just uh, break uh, the break this fraction and we write this, these terms as minus 4 over 2 plus minus 2 times of square root of 12 divided by 2 into iota. So here you see that these are cancelled by each other. So you have 2 times of 2 is 4. So these are also cancelled by each other and here we get minus 2 plus minus square root of 12 into iota. So this is the value of two values of m and these are the complex roots. So finally we have the three values of the given equation because uh, if you focus uh, on here, so uh, in this equation, this equation will be becomes the cubic equation. So we know that its highest power is three. So it means that this equation has three roots. Okay. So uh, finally, we get our three roots, and our three roots are so that our first root is real, and it is m one is equals to four. And uh, in this equation, we have the other two roots are complex. So the second root is minus 2 plus uh, square root of 12 into iota. And our third root is also complex and it is equals to minus 2 minus square root of 12 into iota. So these are the final three roots of the given equation and this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos